Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also a publisher of Reading the Pictures. On the one-year anniversary of George Floyd's death, his family was invited to the White House. At the end of the day, the simple photo of Floyd's daughter, Gianna, stood above the others. This photo was taken by Evan Vucci for AP. In the image, we see a Marine holding the door as Gianna Floyd enters the White House West Wing for her family's meeting with President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris on May 25th, 2021. I'm struck by so many things in this image, particularly the open door and also Gianna Floyd's golden slippers. The open door suggests she's welcome there in that space. And also the formality and structure of that open door, right? Being held by a Marine at attention, this clearly official space, but yet we have a child entering. And I just love that contrast. I love the idea that no matter how formal and somber an occasion this might have been, we just know that children bring a different kind of energy into any space that they enter. It actually reminds me of that first photo that Evan Vucci also took on Inauguration Eve of Biden holding his grandchild. So in this case also, it's an image that captures the popular imagination that also reflects more empathy, symbols of hope and higher ideals that come with the image of children. And it also dials down the power and trappings of the institution. I find it striking, and I think it highlights those contrasts and juxtapositions that you're talking about, that in the photo, at least, she's alone, right? She's entering that door apparently completely by herself. Obviously, we know she came to the White House with adults, but here the poignant nature, I think, of her solitude is something that also really can trigger the public's imagination. You know, this is a girl who lost her father to murder by a police officer, and at the same time, she is being well welcomed in with that open door. So even though she's alone in the image, we also do get that sense, right, that this is a potentially safer space. And I completely agree with you, because in the country right now, you know, we're really riddled with a kind of cynicism, polarization, and this photograph really tries to break through that with a kind of, with a sense of innocence. And that's something that I think the country is desperate for. A number of folks online also made a very strong visual analogy between this image of Gianna Floyd and the childhood imagery of Ruby Bridges. As a six-year-old girl, Ruby Bridges integrated an all-white elementary school in Louisiana in 1960. And several folks posted juxtapositions of this image with photos of Bridges being escorted to and from school essentially every day by federal marshals for her own safety. That image of the open door suggests a kind of analogy to histories of integration and complex racial histories of inclusion and exclusion. Bridges' walk to school is also immortalized by the Norman Rockwell painting, The Problem We All Live With. And in the context of the White House, that painting and that image is significant because Ruby Bridges herself visited the White House in 2011 to see that painting by Rockwell hung outside of the Oval Office. The Obama administration had made the decision to do that. And so here we have Gianna Floyd being welcomed with an open door by a member of the military to the White House. And that analogy to Bridges, both in terms of the age of the child and also that notion of coming to the White House is very apt, I think. 